Hello everyone. So happy that you're here at my channel. I just want to say thank you very much for the new subscribers and for those who are still with me from the beginning. Thank you very much as well. It's been almost a year now and you know, I'm so grateful for everybody. I've started out from nothing and I'm slowly working my way through it, which is the best way, right? We we slowly work our way, perfect our 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 gifts and then, you know, and that's how it should go. So I just want to thank you guys for bearing with me during my learning process and period as I'm going through this. I love you guys. Today as we have been doing as of late, we are going to have the battle of this exes, right? Yeah. And, you know, just so glad for all y'all who show up, who like my channel. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing. Um, you know, it's pretty awesome. You know, I feel very grateful for all y'all humbled that you guys are watching um excited that y'all comment and share or anything like that i just want you all to know that i love you with the love of god and i am only here to disclose the truth since my promise to god is that i would have i would walk in truth and i would speak truth practice truth and then after I completed and mastered that, I was given another mission and I decided then that I would walk in justice. And so I walk with the sword of justice. I fight, I fought demons, will continue to fight the demons until they're slayed, until they're all gone off this planet. And, um, you know, we are now working on the earthbound demons, those of consequence and power who do not um, reflect the standard of the Mother Earth and how she wanted this Earth divvied out, which was really this planet belongs to us all and all the resources. And for everybody that's born upon it, just like a bird who makes a nest or, you know, you've heard me say this, a fox in a hole and a bear in a cave, a man should have a home because we are all a part of nature. And she wanted us all to be taken care of and not to be divvied out, half of us to be the um, uh, money and resource supply for a bunch of rich and wealthy people sitting up on a hill dictating orders and governing our lives as if they know what it's like to work day to day to day to make a living to pay the bills. They don't know that. 90% of them were born to money. Yeah, they were born into it. So nobody really knows what it's like. And our ancestors built this planet. Our ancestors, right? Our ancestors built this world. And we should all be partaking in the greatness of it, the goodness of it. It could be a good world or it can be an evil world. And while the rich and the powerful and the wealthy who have no consideration or knowledge of what it's like to live day to day, paycheck to paycheck, their world, we pray, comes crashing down. It means change for us. It means people got to stand up and start saying, okay, well, let's do this and let's do that. And I'm not exactly sure why I'm on this. You know, I was thinking about doing a three-card spread on what God, of course, I was going to put the, the domineering principalities of the world here, the hardworking people here who created and built the world, and then what God's overview is. And so I'm thinking of doing that. But today, right now, we're going to do the Battle of the X's. And I just want you to know that I've got the people on my mind, the hearts of the people, the goodness of the people, the hardworking people who work week to week, you know, month to month, supporting their children, doing the best they can. And at the same time, we got these lords who cannot be satisfied. They, they're never happy with what they have. They want more. They want yours. They want mine. 
such as talking of taking a dollar away from us. Well, then we can't have yard sales. Then we can't trade and barter, you know, without them knowing it and getting their money. Who are they? What do they want from us? How much do they expect us to give? I love you. So now I'm going to say a prayer to the power of the Holy Spirit. We're going to change over to the battle of the X's. Um, but I've got a lot of energy that wants to be spent on knowing what the wealthy are doing at this time. The powerful, the ones with responsibility for the peoples. Why are they wanting to take our dollars away? Call upon the power of the Holy Spirit, the Father of Righteousness, the Mother Earth, all good things that are in creation, the blessings of our ancestors, those who are with us, who are working towards bringing this planet to a balance, whereas we can all live in appreciation of all things that we have. And we pray to the power of the Holy Spirit to bring truth honor and dignity into our lives where we can stand and be uh, wor feel worthy, you know, whereas they beat us down and make us feel as if we have to give and give and give and give. It is time for that to stop. But again, I have moved into the realm of this other reading I'm supposed to give. <sighs> Tapping into the energy of the battle of the exes, the people, love. Thank you, Creator. Over here will be the the card for the male, the divine masculine. Over here will be the card for the divine feminine. Up here will be God's overview of what is going on between the twin flames or those who are supposed to be coming together. Love, peace, what's going on in the world of love. You know, and this twin flame thing just came to me as it could be a diversion as to what the dark lords have planned for the people on this planet. So, doggone fly. I actually want to get my fly swatter and kill that son of a bitch. I am in my dark feminine at this time. Yes. Um... Dealing with my ex puts me on, you know, I'm not sad or depressed or anything like that. I'm more in the mood of, I want to kick your ass. I want to break you. I want to break your ego. <laughs> um... I'm not happy with my ex, but I love you. And, you know, he just won't go away. He just keeps coming back. I don't know if any of you guys are having that problem, but he just keeps showing up. But he ain't got nothing to bring. And I don't want him anymore. I really don't. I really don't. He's made my life miserable, so I kind of want to move forward. And I'm actually considering... New love. Yeah, my God, that's crazy, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. Ease on down, ease on down the road. I'm going to ease on down, ease on down the road. And that's, and I ain't got nothing. Yeah, I ain't got nothing. Only me. And that's all I ask for, is to be me, mine. I own me. I own my energy. I own my dream for this world, for this people of this world. I own that. That's mine. He can't take that. Okay. 
Now, I don't know if you guys have been having lots of love with your Divine Masculines, and you know what? In all honesty, I really pray for those who are to come together, to come together, and to find that Godhood within them, because that's what we're looking for, right? We're looking for the Godhood, the coming together of the male and female, uh, being complete and fully in their Godhood. That's what it ultimately comes to. The Hierophant. To know, you know, between the two of you, is to know everything you need to know to make the world a better place, not just so for yourself, but for everybody. And so I pray for those who are coming together in truth and honor and dignity to stand before the universe and say, you know, I vow myself to be that which you would, you know, hope for me to be. Lead, guide, and direct me and show me the way to be a true human. To be a dignified human with honor and respect for self and others. Okay, here we go. Divine Masculine. Let's shuffle again. I hope you guys are enjoying, you know, the beginnings of this fall weather where we're getting ready to move into a slower time of year. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Summer has been beautiful, wonderful, fruitful. My garden was fantastic. And speaking of the garden, ah, I got to shuffle off a bit. Wow. Okay. I'm going to take this card for the Divine Feminine. And we'll shuffle one more time for the Most High God. And love and compassion. To me, God represents emotions. Love, compassion, benevolence, and deep, deep, big flow. You see the flow? God flows. Because if God don't flow, things become stagnant. Right? So we have to flow. And here we go. We're going to represent God right here. And we're going to set this deck to the side. We won't be calling on it anymore. This is the astro deck. We're going to go with the divine male first and see what he, what energy he's in today. Oh, he's in lover's energy. Gemini. Magician energy. Okay. He's thinking about love, feeling love, exploring love, um, trying to manifest love. Twins, this is two, trying to bring his divine male and divine feminine together. This could be about healing, guidance. Trying to bring two aspects of self together. So let's just say that he's working on integrating his divine masculine with his divine feminine. Okay. Well, we're going to ask the question, what does this mean for him? What What is he working towards accomplishing with this goal? What's his purpose? Seven of Vessels. And it was upright. He's trying to figure out what is an illusion and what is not. What is real and what is not. 
looking at the options that were presented to him. He's looking to make a choice. He's looking at options. Um, options. Emotions, 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 emotions. These cups represent emotions. He's looking at his emotions and how they feel. How each item that he has possessed maybe over his lifetime made him feel compared to other things. He's looking through his feelings asking himself the question of what that feeling meant, maybe. Hmm. Um, his feelings. Confused, possibly. Or looking at all the cups that he's drank over his lifetime. Which cups served him best? Got Nine of Swords in the reverse. Knight. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Swords, air, fast moving. He could be lying to himself. I'm going to actually look at my book. Knight of Swords. Slow. Moving slow, not thinking well. Lower level intelligence. Mm. Not able to put the pieces together. vessels but he will come through it I've got three of vessels right here celebration is coming for him he's going to move through that and it was in the upright and I'm really glad to see that because I don't want to see anybody suffer even those who've made me suffer I don't want to see them suffer but, of course, I've got my boundaries up to not allow them back in my life to make me suffer. All right? All right. But it's not that I want to see them suffer. I would celebrate if he got his act together, cleaned his act up. My my uh, ex, I would celebrate with him. I'll never go back, but I would be his friend if he cleaned his act, act up, if he you know, made some better choices for himself so that his choices didn't affect me, right? We can't allow their choices to affect us because they will, you know, kind of turn our world upside down too, and we don't want that, right? The high priestess, just a little like that. He's using his intuition He's looking between the light and the dark. He's looking for balance. He's looking, he's using his intuition. Good. I'm glad to hear that. The intuition will lead you in the right direction. Uh, if something tells you to do something and it tells you two or three times you should do it, that's your intuition talking to you. You want to stop a minute and see what it's saying and what it would require of you, right? 
I'm going to put my fly swatter here because I'm going to peel me a fly, right? <laughs> um, so he is using his intuition. He's gathering his soul together. He's looking at the illusions. It's taking him time. But he's going to come out celebrating and using his intuition for the better. We've got, yeah. Yeah, it's just taking him a little time. And he's having to use a lot of... Um, that's to dig around in there to get the intelligence, to get the grasp of the intuition. And we have the Wheel of Fortune here upside down. Which is karma. He has to deal with karma. This came out right side up. And that's a yes. He has to work with his karma. Yeah. That's a yes. After the Wheel of Fortune upside down and then this coming out, this says yes. The sun is shining on his karma. The Divine Masculine is working through karma right now. And he knows it. He knows it. Yeah. He wants to celebrate, but his intuition is telling him that he has to pay the piper before he gets to walk into the sun. He gots to pay the piper. Okay, that don't make me...